Hey guys, and welcome to another, what should be a painting video, but it's more gonna be me talking about um, what's coming up with painting videos. Uh, I'm Warcast Ben, or Chaotic Bear Ben. Um, the purpose of this video, obviously, is to be looking at these lovely salamanders stuff. Uh, now I'm obviously a massive fan of salamanders, as some of you who personally know me know. Uh, and those of you who are just tuning in watching all these videos, you're going to learn. Now, it's something that I've been dying for a long time to get Salamander Codex and another model. Uh, the upgrade sets and obviously uh, just rules in general for Salamander. So supplements like this are fantastic, something I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I'm gonna go through just a small amount because I know there's been a lot of other YouTubers who have already uh, done bits and pieces with this, uh, had the book for a week, done battle reports, done bits and pieces. I'm gonna give what I would perceive as my in my input. I come more from a uh, fluff background of this, I suppose. Uh, I'm not hugely into gaming and doing everything like that. I much prefer the background uh, to all the 40k lore. So uh, for those of you out there who are looking for fluff, ta uh, for fluff tactics and things like that, this is potentially gonna be something worthwhile for you. Those of you looking for hardcore gaming, I'm not that kind of guy. I don't really get into all of that sort of thing. So, um, But stick around and just maybe go through some bits and pieces of fluff with me. So yeah, let's go. So then, uh, first off, I'm going to be having a look at the book. Uh, obviously, everyone wants to see the model and everything, but I'll get to that. I'm not going to go through this in masses and amounts of detail. Uh, those of you who are hardcore Salamander fans or just Salamander fans, you'll end up picking up the book and you'll see the awesomeness that is this supplement. Now, I'm going to go through, have a look. First things. Obviously, we've seen this artwork before, but it's still fantastic artwork. I really love it. Um, we all hope that this would be Pelis Mirsan. Um, we'd love to see a model for that, but who knows? One day we might do. So, just going through. Obviously, you get all your standard bits, your introductions and whatnot. And you get some really awesome artwork. I really love all the artwork that you get in this book. Um, I have only just had it come through my door. All of probably about... An hour ago uh, so I haven't even got through all of it yet uh, I've had a quick browse through everything like that but from what I can see so far it is fantastic um, I love it but then again I could be being really biased but there you go so going through you get to see how they sort of started off planet that they live on finally a complete breakdown of exactly how our chapter organization goes um, then we get to look at each company in particular which is quite nice because obviously we've always sat here as salamander fans not knowing exactly what's going on with each and every uh, company now obviously there's always been the the arguments of other oh, scouts there's you know one to seven companies is there one to eight companies is there a veteran company and then like second to scout company that's the one to seven company this goes through it all it's not going to be what everybody likes it's not going to be what everybody wants um i think it does quite well um from what i've had a, a little butch through at the moment uh i'm pretty happy with it um uh, for a background fluff for something to read it's really good it's really nice so, uh, lovely pictures. Again, as I say, they are fantastic. Little stories, bits and pieces that you can use to help to uh, make sure that you make a more fluffy army, if that's what you're going for. Um, not everybody's obviously going for that. Everybody else is looking for the section down here with the rules and such. I like to see 
all of the different bits. Um, as I say, again, artwork is fantastic, but the stories behind things are really nice. You've got here like a little story with um, the chapter master. Uh, again, more here with chapter master stuff, and obviously the introduction of Primaris into our um, Legion. I say Legion, because obviously we don't actually know whether or not we're uh, we have any successor chapters. Technically, uh, there's <coughs> there's speculation that there are some. Uh, this might go into more detail with it. I don't know. I haven't, as I say, I haven't fully gone through. Uh, but I would say we are still technically Legion, uh, while we are still called a chapter. I'm all up for Legion. Now, this is one big thing that obviously has shocked most people, um, and it shocked me as well. You're looking at most characters, minus Kalgar, you know, uh, the Chief Librarian, Tagiris. They all got Primaris upgrades. Why didn't Hestan? Who knows? Maybe he's off doing lots of bits and pieces at the moment. We're not sure where he is. I haven't read this. I'm not sure where he is at the moment. Um, I like Adrax Agatime. Big fan of him. Really like his model, everything like that. But I'd quite like to have seen Hestan getting primarisized. A lot of you out there have already done it. I've jumped on it as well. I've got one of my own. Uh, I will obviously show you at some point a painting video of it. Uh, I haven't, because I haven't painted him yet. I've only built him and it's taken me a little time. I'm not great with green stuff, but I have tried to at least make a green stuff cloak for him. Although, in saying that, <laughs> Once we have a look at the miniature, well, I'll just show you the sprue and you can sort of see that he actually comes with a fantastic cloak and the way that it's been made, you know, if you want to be able to copy it, it's easy enough too. Um, if you were to copy it with green stuff and then you was able to, you know, mold it yourself. But anyway, we'll get to that in a bit. So, as I say, I'm liking these. Primera size Falcon hair stand, it would be nice, but you know, perhaps it's more the fact that I've had a look at his like looking at his model, he's obviously quite small, he's quite quite tiny compared to Agrax. But you know, there is a lot of fluff in this book from what I can see, um, which is nice. Uh, obviously, couple it with the books that Nick Kime has done with the Tomb of Fire, Rebirth, all that. You know, you've got a lot to go with on the background there. Um, following the story of like Dakir and people like that. Awesome. Uh, lots to go with there. Having a look through, looking at the pictures and things. I, when it comes to the book, I can very much see what a lot of people were worried about. Um, Especially with certain aspects of like you look at a lot of these pictures and you go hmm Where's the standard tactical Marines? I get it You know Primaris is gonna be the new thing I For one when it comes around to the Primaris stuff. I really wish there was still the uh, The ability to do all the conversions and everything like you know these guys captains I wish that instead of GW going, oh, this is the model and here are the bits and whatever it comes with, that's what you do. I wish that I could take this captain model and be able to equip him and go, look, I'm going to give him a plasma pistol. I'm going to give him a lightning claw. Not very salamandery, I get. But I wish I'd be able to give him a thunder hammer or something. They'd be incredibly expensive, but for me, they'd be incredibly fluffy. Uh, not, for, not everybody sort of take on things. But there you go. Ta uh, like tactical squads, yeah, I get. You can still buy them, you can still run them, but let's face it. Now we've got Primaris. Primaris Marines look good. They are nicely sized. When you put them on the battlefield against other troops, like Imperial Guard, they actually stand up and they look right against them. Instead of being little tiny squat Marines. I don't know, that's my opinion. It's, you know, that's obviously not something against GW or whatever. I, I'm i fully on the bandwagon for Primaris. I love them. I still have all my other stuff, um, which at some point we will 
I will show you bits and pieces. I've got 30k salamanders. Obviously, I don't get to play a lot of 30k, but then again, I'm, I quite like the rules for 8th. Uh, much more simple and much more relaxed games, I find. So, yeah, as I say, lack of normal marines is all sort of primaris. I like it. I just wish that instead of them going, oh, you know, land raiders can't take primaris, but obviously they can take terminators, which are bigger and bulkier, than, or supposed to be bigger and bulkier, really, than primaris. Hey, you know, why can't a primaris marine go on a land raider? Oh, I don't know. Um, lots of things you'll probably see from some of our live videos. I get triggered on certain things, so I apologize. You know, it's it's kind of a problem I have. Um, talking a little bit about rules. Obviously, we have here aggressors. Now, if you are a gamer and you want this codex purely for obviously gaming wise, and because you like the salamanders, obviously aggressors are fantastic. They are amazing. It's the one thing that everyone's gravitated to, to for this codex. It's, I mean, they are really good. They are awesome. It's nice that Salamanders can obviously have a nice flamey unit. Granted, I wish that this codex had brought in things like longer range flamers, bits and pieces like that. I get that obviously, uh, in terms of gaming wise, longer flamers, that's a problem. Uh, if we're starting able to be able to have 12 inch flamers, then you're just gonna be able to, all you're gonna do is just take like flamer weapons all the time. Um, GW aren't going to be able to sell lots of other things to a Salamander player. So it makes sense. Uh, I just, on that front, wish that things like this, the repulsors or the executioners, they would be able to move a bit quicker, transport more, land raiders perhaps, transport in. So, yeah. Obviously, I get triggered there. So I pull myself out. <laughs> Sorry. So. Land Raiders being able to transport, transport Primaris, that would be lovely. We're, anyway, we'll move on. Staple of Salamanders, I think, Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts are fantastic. Everybody loves a good Dreadnought. Uh, I think they look really, really good. The Primaris ones are awesome. I love them. Um, I have got an Invictus Warsuit as well that I've got. I think they're just cool. He's got a flamethrower on it. Well, it's, it's not the most amazing of things. Yeah, okay, so nine inches away from the enemy and just be a pain straight away. But, you know, we'll go from there. Um, Thunderfire Cannons, I love them. I, I've always loved them. I thought they were fantastic back in sort of, uh, when they come out, like fifth, sixth. Um, I loved them then. Um, they were cool. It's that nice little piece of artillery unit from a distance. Yeah, it makes sense as uh, things that would have that, but they're led by tech priests, uh, tech marines. And salamanders are every single one of them. Tech marines, effectively. They all look after their armor. So uh, tech marines all over your armor. Army, if you're playing fluffy, I think it's a really good idea. Um, not to mention, okay, going for a little bit of rules here. Tech marines are going to be able to fix these guys. Fix all your dreadnoughts and stuff. So, you know, you're going to be having, getting wounds back and stuff. Running with Brea Fash Mantle. Massively expensive uh, model. For, well, points wise, give them a tech marine. Fix them up a little bit. So, as I say, they've got loads of awesome painted models, loads of things for us to be able to get reference from for painting models and things like that. Uh, I will go through how I paint my salamanders or how I now paint my salamanders. Obviously, I've been collecting salamanders for God knows how long now, like since. Uh, since. Probably a like fourth edition at least. Um, I was a bit young to be collecting them and knowing everything about them from a lot longer before that, but I do have a bit of knowledge going all the way back through things. <clears throat> so, yeah. Obviously I get triggered there. So I pull myself out. <laughs> Sorry. So, Land Raiders being able to transport, transport Primaris. That would be lovely. We anyway, we'll move on. Staple of Salamanders, I think, dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts are fantastic. Everybody loves a good dreadnought. Uh, 
Oh, I think they look really, really good. The Primaris ones are awesome. I love them. Um, I have got an Invictus war suit as well that I've got. I think they're just cool. He's got a flamethrower on it. Well, it's, it's not the most amazing of things. Yeah, okay, set up nine inches away from the enemy and just be a pain straight away. But, you know, we'll go from there. Um, Thunder Fire Cannons, I love them. I, I've always loved them. I thought they were fantastic back in sort of, uh, when did they come out? Like fifth, sixth? Um, I loved them then. Um, they were cool. It's that nice little piece of artillery unit from a distance. Yeah, it makes sense that uh, things that would have that, but they're led by tech priests, uh, tech marines. And salamanders are every single one of them tech marines, effectively. They all look after their armor. So, uh, tech marines all over your armor. Army, if you're playing fluffy, I think it's a really good idea. Um, not to mention, okay, going for a little bit of rules here. Tech Marines are going to be able to fix these guys, fix all your dreadnoughts and stuff. So, you know, you're going to be having getting wounds back and stuff. Running with Brea Fash Mantle, massively expensive uh, model for, well, points wise, give him a Tech Marine, fix him up a little bit. So, as I say, they've got loads of awesome painted models, loads of things for us to be able to get reference from for painting models and things like that. Uh, I will go through how I paint my salamanders or how I now paint my salamanders. Obviously, I've been collecting salamanders for God knows how long now, like since uh, four, since probably like fourth edition at least. Um, I was a bit young to be collecting them and knowing everything about them from a lot longer before that, but I do have a bit of knowledge going all the way back through things. <coughs> So yeah, as I say, I'll, I'll go through how I paint them at a later stage. Uh, it's probably quite similar to how Games Workshop would if used to paint them. Um, although, obviously, I don't use all of the GW paints just for doing them. I use Army Painter to base coat them. I just find it makes it a lot easier. Uh, and with my Primaris now, I just want to get things out. Um, they look good enough for what I've done with them. And I'm not going for any white painting prizes, so... So, yeah, nice little sort of show off for well, what effective is probably 500 to 1000 point armies there. Um, they look quite good. A nice little broad range of things that I imagine GW would think you'd want to include in your army here. Um, the glare from the light is terrible in here. I apologize for that, but there you go. Um, so, yeah, great little sort of fluffy style things to follow. Um, <laughs> especially like these guys who you know, have been around for so long in uh, GW's collection that obviously they keep coming back out and getting shown off so I'm not going to go too much into these uh, there's plenty of channels that have already gone through this a Vulcan hair standard from what I can see hasn't really changed that much um, he's still the badass spear wielding gauntlet of fire burning dude that he always has been with all his fantastic re-rolls everything like that really good armor save really good invulnerable save yeah. I, you know as a salamander army he's pretty much an auto auto include for most depending on how you run them um Ajax Agatone you know who doesn't like uh, third company captain running around with a nice big thunder hammer that does lots of damage um and he's also quite a fluffy character himself and has a 12 inch flamer pistol or a pistol as such I suppose it's not really a pistol it's an assault weapon but you know that's cool he's awesome um, really looking forward to that guy like giving him a paint up and seeing where we go from him uh, I will paint him on stream uh, I will probably just get him built anyway might build, build him in stages because it does look like there's going to be some difficult bits but um, just to get with, with some brushes as I'm not the mo uh, most amazing painter, as you've probably seen, but we'll go from there and we'll do something. Um, yeah, as I say, really nice background pictures, all that sort of stuff. I like the Crucible of War things, Promethean Cult, it's, it feels very fluffy. A lot of their rules are very fluffy. I, I find that this codex are actually, along with perhaps, and I dread to say it, the Iron Hands codex, um, quite fluffy they stick very much to what they are uh, in 
you know, in the storylines and stuff like that. I mean, most of them do anyway. Uh, but, you know, these ones are really quite fluffy. A lot of their rules and everything sort of jump on that sort of, uh, on the fluff bandwagon and such. Love the relics. There's a lot of awesome relics in there. There's a few that I'm a bit like, why would I ever really take it? Uh, special issue war gear. There's some awesome things in there. Just just some really cool things that have got some nice names. Dragonfire bolts, you know, Promethean plate, Obsidian Aquila, Dark uh, Drac blade. You know, they've taken some time to really go through things here. This section with the stratagems, I am not good enough really to go through all this with you i know that there are like four or five of these stratagems that will cost you several command points on some aggressors they'll make your aggressors amazing they will outperform most things so many shots so many wounds mortal wounds all sorts of things um one trick pony uh once your opponent knows that or once someone sees you at a gaming club that does that um, or if you've really got a couple of people you play with on the regular, they're going to know as soon as you've got aggressors on the field, that's what you've got to go for. The aggressors not going to move fast. Um, you know, you stick them in a repulsor, fair enough, they might get out of the board, but the repulsor's going to get shot at anyway because it's just a big box with guns all over it. I am not going to place all my bets on aggressors. I love them, don't get me wrong, I think they're fantastic. And if I can get this off once or twice against people, great, awesome. I feel like perhaps to do that, you're going to need to play on uh, very cityscape boards, uh, which I know that in the Salamanders 40k group on Facebook that I'm, I'm an admin of, um, I know there's a lot of people who say, well, the bases and things like that, like obviously always running over lava bases, you're sticking them in like... Uh, cityscapes and things they don't match up so obviously it doesn't look right on the gaming board but it's going to be the one place to re really play these i feel anyway because you can need all those corners just to sort of weave around don't get shot at everything like that but that's just my my opinion I, you know there's a few others here that you know uh born protectors trust of prometheus master I, artisans things like that they're just, i just i feel in games i would probably use them just literally to go look at this fairy salamandery it's you know it, it tells a story we're playing these games to tell a story to have some fun get out talk to some people that sort of thing um i mean for me at least anyway go to my gaming club get to see my friends and things and then obviously get to play games and potentially destroy ultramarines you know who i'm talking about there uh, so, I didn't think I was going to do things like Librarians. Obviously, I have the Librarian Primaris, uh, the, the Primaris Librarian, and the one from the, is it the Shadow War, whatever it is, the box set with the other Primaris guys. I have that Librarian as well. Not a massive fan of Librarians. I've always struggled painting Librarians. I don't know why, um, but <laughs> I quite like having... Uh, some of the librarian psychic powers that are here. Um, the Molten Infernoff that I did as my first video for painting. Probably going to use him to make up a base with my one of my librarians. Because I'm not going to use more than one at any time. Um, and I'll probably I, I always use the librarian in the standard Primaris armor. Not the Phobos armor or whatever it is. Um, just because I don't like the model. So simply like that. Um, Obviously, the tactical objectives, I don't have to worry about those because I got the cards as well. And then, this is very cool. I quite like this. Um, naming your characters. I mean, thank you, GW. This is awesome. It, I find it a bit difficult sometimes naming characters and things like this. I mean, I've got um, my captain... Uh, with Plasma Pistol and Power Fist that I've put up on the Instagram page. I was running him as uh, a character I called Draco Rex. It was very simple. Primaris Captain, so I thought he hasn't been around a long time. Draco Rex is kind of a good enough name for him. I did uh, a campaign at our club 
um, ran him. He was pretty good. I quite liked him. He, 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 he performed really well. Killed a couple of special characters that were like Nurgle uh, demons and things. Um, and he did really, really well for what I wanted. Um, so I gave him a nice, a nice, in my opinion, paint job. And then I upgraded him. Uh, so now you can see the other version of him. I've given him a flamer and a clawed gauntlet from, I think it's the Lithoron or the, uh, the Astral Claws or someone's. I can't remember who it is. Guy from Forge World. Um, I gave him, I uh, put them onto the Primaris in Gravis armor, Captain's body. He looks big enough and bulky enough for it so I was quite happy um, and I just upgraded him I thought he deserved it after performing so well in that this would have come in handy having some name generating ability but it does mean that now I can look at Primaris captains and um, Primaris sergeants and things like that I can name them um, that's all part of the background it's part of the story for me I quite enjoy that uh, that will that brings me into the game. It's why I play lots of other games, uh, things like Blood Red Skies. You know, I play as uh, Britain. I play with Spitfires because, yeah, Spitfires. I love the whole background with them and everything. Um, aliens vs Predator. We play that. I love Aliens. I love the whole background with it. I love all of them, all the story stuff with it. So, yeah, I play those. That's what brings me into this gaming, uh, into this hobby. So. That's what I'm going to be focusing on. So, not a great review, I imagine, but it's something. Um, so hopefully that helps you out a little bit with that. Now we're going to move on. So, didn't think I'd spoil you. We're going straight to the straight to the uh, model, did you? You have to wait for that one. So, these. Tactical objective cards, really nice. Uh, they come out really, uh, really well, actually. They've got some nice bits of artwork. You've got your library sort of imaging on the back, and then you need sort of tactical imaging for your stratagems. Uh, I think it really, oh yeah, it changes when you get down to, yeah, so your tactical objectives, it changes for the background on there. Uh, obviously, you've got your salamander specific ones, and then you've got your standard sort of stuff as well. So, uh, not much to say, except I quite like them. I don't quite like having the salamander on the box. I mean, uh, granted, I must admit, he is one ugly looking salamander, and he looks a bit chaosy to me. I don't know why why they decided to do that. Uh, <laughs> but there we go, that's GW for you. Um, I will be keeping these in this box as much as I can, because prolong them. You might notice that, obviously, I didn't go for the special edition of the book. I didn't see the point. A little bit of extra artwork on it. I didn't like the artwork anyway, but there we go. I haven't opened these yet, but we'll move on to these now. So, the Primaris upgrades and transfers. So you kind of have to wonder, Primaris upgrades. They are doing what I said. Probably pulling away from standard Marines. It was gonna happen. These guys are much better, I reckon, personally, but there you go. Um, I feel like there should have been some sort of scaled cloak in this. Uh, other than that, really and truthfully, it's my only gripe. Uh, I like having the flamers. Uh, to be honest, you know, flamer pistols are just as easy to convert from, you know, standard flamers. And I've got a lot of flamethrowers. I was going through my bits box and I just found flamer after flamer after flamer and heavy flamers as well. Then I found thunder hammers that I just didn't realize I had so many of. I like the burning brazier on the back. That's very cool. Um, I like the shoulder pads. I like the shoulder pads when they've already got, him, uh, got the emblems on them. Uh, those emblems look a bit different to what we would normally be expecting to see from Salamanders. Hey, I don't care. We've got shoulder pads that aren't from Forgewood and aren't going to cost us an arm and a leg. The heads that they've supplied, really like the standard marine head uh, with the helmet. I'll probably warm up to that one at some stage. That one, which is obviously this guy's head here, 
Um, don't know what the camera is going to be lying. No, oh, it's all shiny. Um, he's got a cracked head. I'll be honest. I'm probably going to take that head and stick it on him. And we'll get to that. So yeah, flamethrower, uh, the hand flamers, the thunder hammer, shields, lovely, everything's great. I really like that you get two sets of transfers in there as well. Uh, that helps with the other primaries that you've already got and built. I've got like 30 odd standard intercessors that I've got shoulder pads that need um, these transfers on. Obviously, a bit of an upset that you only get the five on them. I have somewhere got the forger transfer sheet so I'll probably end up using that on some of them either that or I'll be doing flame motif or um, changing them I don't want to stick with just having the standard sort of green salamanders with black shoulder pads so at some point I probably will go through in the video where I might make you know a couple, one squad being second company one third one fourth change the shoulder pads up a bit maybe change up my aggressors my suppressors inceptors you know make them stand out a bit more as to the different companies or that they are in so that's them this is the bit I've been waiting for the bit that I've loved uh, and I gotta say obviously from seeing the model and the, the whole like oh look it's spinning and everything I was excited I was I was like a fat kid in a cream store uh you know, bakery you know what i mean which would normally be me i'm way more excited than that now this i opened it up and i was like i know this is going to be good but i just wasn't prepared for certain aspects on this bro so if the camera focuses you can see now that cloak the scale cloak is to die for. I love it. It is fantastic. Look at it. The great thing about it is it's not hugely an issue as to where it's going on to the marine. You could easily trim that off. You could take this cloak. You could green stuff mold it. You could blue press mold it. You could do all sorts of things. That is something that should have come in that. It should have done something along these lines. Look at the scales on that. I tried to do some scales for Vulcan Hestan's cloak the other day, and I'm, I was impressed with it at the time. I was happy, you know. I, I've done a lot of green stuff in before, and I can get some really good results. Scales have always been something I struggled with, but I was happy. That makes me very happy. It's awesome. Look at the Thunder Hammer. That's huge. It's amazing. It's so good. The Flamer pistol is just to die for. That shoulder pad, meh. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna I'm gonna put something else on. I, I I like to convert my models. The front torso plate, the way that everything is built, you know, not being so, like having these bits that are separate to add on to the front torso plate. I love it. It's great. It's fantastic. They've worked really hard. Um, as we already know, my gripe is the head. I am not a fan of the head. I know a lot of people aren't as well. It's quite demonic for me. It's a bit, it's a bit much. I'm gonna change it. There's always gonna be certain things that people don't like, and there's always gonna be, you know, bits and pieces that uh, people will change. That's the one for me. Um, otherwise, this model is just awesome. Love this base. Once you see some of my fire bases that I'm doing, I might keep him on the base. I'm gonna test it out first, see what it's like. Um, I have been doing uh, bases with the Ghrelin Earth. Uh, sorry, not Ghrelin Earth. The Ghrelin Badlands. I quite like the way that comes out nice and rocky, lumpy um, texture. It kind of ties in with this. That's quite cool. Uh, I might have to potentially just put some across the rocks just to, just to tie it in really well. But I'm happy with it otherwise. I am incredibly happy with this model. I am so happy with this model. And if they could just bring out a plastic Vulcan Hestan like this in Primaris mode, I'd be ecstatic. And I wouldn't want GW to do anything in the future. Um, 
like when it comes to salamanders I'd, I'd be quite happily done you know obviously we all like to see other bits and pieces but so yeah that's all the bits and pieces I've got obviously you get your little rules and building instructions in there but don't need that I just go from it um, so yeah as I say I am incredibly happy with this release uh, I know that there's a lot of questions as well. Uh, if you watched the stream from the other week, uh, from last Sunday, should I say, for the um, uh, the what's coming out stream, I was a bit triggered when it comes to dice. Uh, let's face it, we've all all the Salamander fans, we've all seen those dice, um, the White Scars dice that had the uh, the labelling for Salamanders and. Please, please, please tell us there are some salamander dice coming. I will buy like four sets. Don't tell the missus. Um, yeah. Uh, all in all, I'm so happy with all of this. So this is going to be the video for this week. Uh, tomorrow, don't forget that we will be going live doing the reveals and everything. So, so that's the video for this week. Uh... Obviously, as you can tell, I'm quite excited to be doing some of this. Uh, so, don't forget that Sunday, uh, going live at 9 o'clock, we will be doing mine and other Warcast Ben's uh, review of the week's releases, uh, where you get to see my pretty face. Don't tend to put it on the camera here, because what's the point? And, yeah. We'll be doing that tomorrow and then Monday from half past seven, uh, streaming live on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, we will be doing our painting stream where I shall possibly be getting into this guy. I'm not sure yet. Might be cracking on with some other bits and pieces. I don't know. I quite want to get into him, but I don't want to rush. Uh, I've got the Invicta Warsuit that I'll be doing as well. I'm probably going to build that and then just do a painting vid for that. So that you've got some sort of armour. Because unfortunately I got a bit carried away last week. Had a lot of things that were going on at home family wise and stuff. So I didn't do a video. Um, but was sort of piling myself into painting and things. Um, I've bought myself a new turntable. Uh, I've I actually bought this tripod thing. Um, and we've got the microphone as well so I'm doing my best to make sure that we've got some good videos going out to you guys if you've got any questions obviously post them in the links below if you've got anything you want to want to see us discuss on the uh, painting stream on Monday fantastic send us uh, a video well send us a message either on uh, YouTube uh, you can I think you can message us on Twitch uh, or on the Facebook page Warcast Gaming um, we're happy to listen to anything if you've got any questions for us uh, i.e. myself or other Ben uh, or even potentially for I think we've got Steve with us again this week and Fallon uh, Steve will be doing Ultramarine bits Fallon's probably doing Necrons uh, and then we might have a couple of other people that will be new um, there'll be probably a lot of Black Sails talk um, but obviously that's not 40k stuff so yeah thanks for watching guys uh if you like the videos obviously like them uh comment on them if you could rate us or whatever it is subscribe to us as well be fantastic uh I, as i say i'm going to be doing a fair few more salamander videos over the coming weeks um i want to get you guys some good bits and pieces of stuff that i do um a proper amateur so Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye now.